Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in our project in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Uh, we have kind of a typical setup here. We have our movie showing on video track one. Below it, we have music running along the bottom here. And then in between them, we have little clips of narration. The challenge is they're all coming through loud and clear, all at the same volume. It's all competing for our attention. We want to be able to control the volume level at specific points. In other words, I want the music to be loud and clear, but when the narration comes in, I want the music to fade back so that the narration can dominate and then the music come back up again. We're going to do that by means of using something called envelopes or audio envelopes in this particular case. Audio envelopes and video envelopes allow us to keyframe or to change the settings or levels of our audio and video at specific points. Let's show you how it works. So we've got our audio track here. Now this audio track is the actual audio track for the movie itself. I'd like that to be completely silent. I'd like us to have music playing and then just the narration pop in as needed. So the first thing I need to do is to mute this audio for the movie itself. There are a couple of ways I could do it. I could simply click on M. That would mute the entire audio track. I could drag this little slider here down and that would also mute the audio track. Or I could go to the individual tracks and just drag down from the top here the gain level. You can see when you get a little finger there pointing up, there it is. Drag that down, come over here. When you see the finger pointing up, drag that down and now that volume is gone completely so the audio is I've muted it completely now these two though we want to be able to control the audio level at specific points so with that track selected I'm going to go up to the insert menu at the top of the program and select audio envelope volume because that's what I want to control and once I do that you notice what we get is a little blue line here that runs through the audio track or it runs th through the entire track here for music and what I need to do is set the music so that in some places it's lower than other places to do that I'm just going to double click that creates a little keyframe see that little square double click again next to it and right here at the end of our narration we want to create another and then another and now we've created a little bridge or a hammock I can drag this middle section between these keyframe points down to about, this is pretty nice, we're down about two, three. This is a negative 5.2, that's a pretty good level. Let's see how that looks and let's see how that sounds. Now, I'm sorry that uh, because when my microphone is plugged in, you can't hear, you're not gonna be able to hear the audio, but I would of course play this and I would test it with my ears, but I also wanna watch the audio meters and I wanna make sure that the meters are showing green, not red, and that the music is fading back when the narration comes in. Let's see how that looks. Here's our music playing. There we go. The music fades back. The music is actually still pretty hot there. That's still pretty high. I'm going to drag that down just a little farther. Generally, as my rule of thumb, I like to come down to about negative nine. Let's go down here. There's 8.7 there's negative 10. That's probably pretty good. Now you'll be able to tell with your ear what sounds right, right? It may sound too abrupt. The music may go down too quickly, but let's see how this looks and sounds. Once again, we're going to play it. There's our music at full volume. Here's our music fading back. And now our music fades back to a reasonable degree and the narration dominates and then the music comes back in. And you may notice on here that I've got a little bit of a slope between the full volume keyframe and the fade back keyframe. Uh, that slope will be a gradual backing off of the audio as the narration comes in. Use your ear, see if it sounds too abrupt, it may be disruptive, but it should sound nice and soft and natural. And we can create as many keyframes as we'd like on this timeline. Just double clicking to create a set of four and then pulling back the audio to allow other audio, or in this case narration, to dominate. That's how you use keyframes to mix the audio in your program. Now in part seven, we're gonna take a look at adding titles. And there are a lot of cool titling tools here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Let's add some titles to our movie. And boy, our movie is looking pretty good, getting close to being done. That's in part seven. I hope you join me. This is Steve Grisetti, thanks for joining me.